secret hats, fake tasks, and the best tips to discover the imposter. These and more epic things when we talk about 20 awesome secrets in Among Us. Super players. One of the best tips for Among Us is to make your name practically invisible. In previous versions of this game, you could put a weird character that practically made you invisible. But you can't do that anymore. What we can still do is to put a super short name and put, for example, a single letter, like the lowercase i, and that makes us extremely discreet. This way, your name will be so small that it will be very easy to hide behind different structures on the maps. Of course, this is extremely useful, whether you're a crew member or the imposter. Did you know that Among Us has special seasons based on calendar events? That's right! There are Christmas, Halloween, April Fool's Day events, and you can actually force them! If you go to your device's calendar and change the date, you'll make the game think it's actually that date, and it will trigger the event. For example, if you set the date to December 25th, it will trigger the Christmas event. Each specific event unlocks different things. This Christmas one unlocks a bunch of Christmas hats, which will not only make your character look extremely epic, but will make everyone ask you, where did you get that hat, man? If you were playing in a private room that you entered using a code, and then you disconnected and you don't know the code, don't worry, there is a way to reconnect without needing to have this code. Go to the option where you entered the code, but press only the right arrow and that way you will automatically reconnect. It's one thing to play Among Us with friends, but it's another thing to play it professionally as a tryhard. That's right, for competitive players, there's a notebook, a website that allows you to annotate Among Us stuff. You can write down things like the location of each player on the map, you can also write down which players have died, which players are suspects, which players are innocent. It's actually pretty crazy. And you can do this with every map in the game. Definitely a good tool for those who take Among Us seriously. Despite the fact that Among Us is extremely popular, few people know that this was not its original name. If we explore the game files on an Android device, we will see that this game was called Space Mafia. And you know what? Thinking about it, this name doesn't sound bad at all. In Among Us, there are tasks that are very easy, and there are others that are quite cumbersome. The card swipe has to be the most awkward of them all. If you swipe it too fast, it's wrong. And if you swipe it too slow, it's wrong too. But real super players know that the right way to do it is to swipe quickly at first, and then more smoothly. That way it always works and it's much faster. In this game, every second counts. I've seen a lot of people doing the task of stabilizing the ship's direction by dragging the crosshairs to the center. But real super players know that clicking in the center is more than enough. Likewise, there's a way to save a couple of seconds when emptying the trash. You just have to be pretty vigilant and pull the lever the moment the trash hits the bottom, and it'll go a lot faster. And now some tips that will help you detect who is the imposter. For example, this task where your character is scanned can only be done by players who are not imposters. So, if you see other players scanning, you can be sure it is not the imposter. Now, if you see somebody that comes and stands up there and it looks like he's doing something, but he doesn't do anything and doesn't scan himself, get out of the way, that's the imposter. Also, many newbies fall into the trap of this task in the reactor. And I say trap because there really is no task. There is only a panel that looks like there is a task, but you stand there and do nothing. So if someone is pretending to do a task, it is surely an imposter. And another very good way to find out who the imposter is, is with the task of destroying the asteroids. When a player who is not the imposter is doing this task, look outside the ship and see how the cannons are firing, because you are destroying asteroids, right? Now, if you see somebody down there kind of doing the task, but the cannons aren't firing and they're not exploding the asteroids, it's suspicious, isn't it? This game has a lot of references to other games and pop culture in general. 
In the task of scanning boarding passes, you will see a working QR code. You can scan it with your phone, and it will take you to a link. This link is a Google search with the phrase, Yo Holmes, smell you later, a reference to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I... On the map Mira HQ, there is a greenhouse. And in this greenhouse, there are a couple of tasks. One of them is to clean the O2 filter. But the most interesting one is that of watering the plants. And not just because watering the plants is interesting in itself, but because the third plant is a reference to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Those who have played the game will know that there are Korok seeds, which are basically the same plant that appears in Among Us. They really do look alike. In Among Us, there is a map called Polus, which is quite interesting since it has snow, but at the same time, it also has lava. In fact, when there is an argument and someone is pulled out, they are not thrown out of the ship, but into the lava, and they slowly fall with their hand upwards. This is another obvious reference, in this case, the final scene of the movie Terminator 2. Although Among Us is not a game that has a lot of history or lore, we do know some basic things. For example, that we are a part of a crew, and that there is an imposter who wants to kill us. So far so good, right? If we pay attention to the animations of the murders, we'll see that not all of them are the same. And in fact, one makes us think that the imposter is an alien. Oh no! Now I'm scared! If you're an imposter, there's a good way to commit murder and not get caught. Take advantage of crowds of players. When you see a lot of players together, take advantage of it and do an assassination. And since they're all on top of each other, who did it? Nobody knows. Have you ever wondered what happens to your pet when you are murdered? The psychological impact is so drastic that it leaves your pet frustrated for life. And even with your ghost, you can still see it waiting for you. F in the comments for all the pets still waiting for their owner. So, so sad. Did you know that there is a mysterious crew member that nobody knows who he is? In the Polis map, go to the lab. There, you'll find a very particular bathroom. Not only because there's a hole in the floor, but because there's an agent in the middle one. Maybe another alien? Who knows? You can gain a few extra seconds in your favor by skipping some of the game's animations. This allows you to strategically position yourself before the others. So while I finish watching the video, you move and hide around so no one can see you. But for me, the most interesting trick that few people know is that Among Us is not a new game. In fact, this game was created and released on June 15th, 2018. However, we all know that its popularity really grew in 2020, and that's why many people think it's a new game. But if we explore on Google Trends and search, we can see this. It was in October 2020 when this game had its highest point. Incredible for a game that barely had between 30 and 50 maximum players connected at the same time. And today, it has millions and millions of players. That's definitely the most epic secret of Among Us. See you in the next video. Super players.